the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, and with these you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The first reading. Because we have been gifted with God's peace in the risen Christ, we are called to our own peace and to the making of peace in our world. As disciples and as children of God, it is our task to seek for ways in which to make the forgiveness, justice and mercy and love of God visible in a world where violence and enmity are too often the norm. We are the first generation since Genesis with the power to virtually destroy God's creation. We cannot remain silent in the face of such danger. Peacemaking is not an optional commitment. It is a requirement of our faith. We are called to be peacemakers, not by some movement of the movement, but by our Lord Jesus. A reading from Dan Berrigan. We say killing is disorder, life and gentleness and community and unselfishness is the only order we recognise. For the sake of that order, we risk our liberty, our good name. The time has passed when good men can remain silent, when obedience can segregate men from public risk, when the poor can die without defence. We ask our fellow Christians to consider in their hearts a question which has tortured us night and day since war began. How many must die before our voices are heard? How many must be tortured, dislocated, starved, maddened? How long must the world's resources be raped in the service of legalized murder? When, at what point, will you say, no to this war. We have chosen to say, with the gift of our liberty, if necessary, our lives, the violence stops here, the death stops here, the suppression of the truth stops here, this war stops here. So we pray. Lead, Lead us from, from death, death to life, life. From, from falsehood to, to truth. Lead, Lead us from, from despair, despair to, to hope. hope. From, from fear, fear to, to trust, trust. Lead, lead us from hate, hate to love, from war to peace. peace. Let, Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our, our universe. universe. Amen. Amen.